from her living room in Plymouth. My paints are well loved. Kim Dolan is able to find happiness. It's sea turtles. In the details. These will gradually get smaller. After she paints the rocks, she places them in public for others to discover. I like to always make it different. I don't think I've left the same rock twice. Kim first tried her hand at it a couple years ago, encouraged by a friend. If you find this rock, feel free to keep it. I hope it makes you smile. Also, adding a way to contact her. One of her first pieces led to a message from the kids who found it. I'm like, look, someone found my rock, you know. And that was, uh, that was it. I was hooked. And then I've had like little short notes. Um, You've restored my faith in humanity and <laughs> just from a rock, a painted rock. Rocks. Kim turns into art during her time off at night. It's funny because you'll look at things with a new eye. Like I look at my makeup brushes, the back side of them, I'll go, oh, I could use this. <laughs> I kind of have these little rules I follow. Like I can't, I have to jog at least three miles before I leave it. <laughs> you know, it's weird. And the only other rule is it has to be high enough, hidden somewhere high enough so a dog won't lift its leg on it. So <laughs> no one wants to get a rock a dog has peed on. Also, the brighter the better. Behind every brush stroke is the intention to like spread that. joy. I got a message from a woman saying she had just been having a really, really rough year. And um, I'm going to cry. And she said that... It, it just really uplifted her, and she was so glad that there were people out there doing things like that. This is my bowl of rocks that is re are ready to go. From Springsteen to Snoopy, so Kim hides three to four rocks a week. I think I'll leave this one today, a dragonfly one. Most of them are placed around Medicine Lake. A couple times I've sat here and talked to him and left a rock. I don't know him, so I'm gonna leave him another rock today. Joy that waits to be found. In Plymouth, Heidi Wigdahl, Care 11 News.